Hello everybody, it's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have a Golden Bachelor update. Some fans are calling Gary a gold digger. An article came out, Golden Bachelor fans slam Gary Turner for Teresa's gold digger introduction to family. And we're going to get into this story right now. Follow me on Instagram at dneals and also I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. On today's Patreon, I'm going to share new and updated information regarding the Clayton Eckert paternity scandal it appears there has been uh, some movement with the court case. We're going to have all of that information over there. And this afternoon, Bachelor Rush Hour, the hit podcast, we'll have your Dancing with the Stars recap, plus Times Person of the Year is Taylor Swift. We'll cover that. And Ariana Maddox from Vanderpump Rules will be in the Broadway uh, revival of Chicago uh, in New York City, so we'll have that story as well. All right. Also, don't forget we have teacher. Uh, excuse me. We have mom wish list for the Christmas season. Every day we have two people we highlight, and today we have Brizzly and Anna. Brizzly's from New Jersey with a son named Sebastian. She said, "I survived and left a domestic violence situation. I've restarted my life and been blessed to be able to continue to support my son and succeed in my job as a school administrator. Things have been a bit difficult since transitioning from two paychecks." to one along with rising costs of living. Anna has two kids, Jesse and Jason from uh, Nevada, says I have two amazing twins. They Apparently these are actual twins. Uh, they have been asking to learn the piano and cello for almost three years now. I was able to get them a starter keyboard and a violin, but any other help with learning books or fun kids stuff to come from Santa would be amazing. It's just me and the boys and their father does not help at all. I was selected last year, so I completely understand if space is limited in another family is selected. Thank you for helping us, single moms. If you want to donate to any of these single moms, there'll be a link in the comment section below. We're also going to go live, I believe, Friday evening, and we'll have eggnog, Christmas music, and we'll do a nice and very heartwarming um, uh, Christmas gift toy drive here on the channel. So stick around for that. More information to come. All right, let's jump into this story. As reported, Golden Bachelor's Teresa Nist staggering net worth as Gary Turner labeled a gold digger. The Golden Bachelor's Teresa has a successful career in finance. When Gary Turner finds out about her financial job, he is left impressed but says he is a gold digger. But fans say he is a gold digger. All right, so she revealed she worked in finance and a lot of people think this was a turning point for the season where he went from uh, wanting to pursue Leslie to then pursuing Teresa. But we have to understand, and again, I'm always one to push back on these types of articles. We share them so that we can sort of cross-examine them. Uh, was Gary wanting Teresa because of she because she's got money, or is it because he respects and appreciates an independent woman? I mean, you know, of course, the Hollywood Reporter story came out that had Gary, you know, splitting, going Dutch on bills with his ex, and that was kind of thought of as a bad thing. Others have questioned him. How did he, how, you know, they called him a restaurateur. He only had a burger shop till 1985. Did he retire at the age of 35? You know, all these other questions. And maybe we're using the word retire loosely. Uh, but we do have a very interesting voicemail that was posted online from a senior watcher. And have a listen. The Golden Bachelor is a fraud. He hasn't owned a restaurant, and it was only like a hamburger drive in. <clears throat> since 1985. Plus, he's had several girlfriends when he said he hadn't even kissed a woman since his wife died. Not even true. He lived with another woman. It's just a bunch of baloney. Talk to you later. All right. Bunch of baloney indeed. So that's what some people are saying. Now, of course, we're going to hear from Gary Turner. He's on uh, Bachelor Happy Hour podcast. And these articles, you know, look, I mean, they are what they are. Uh, is Teresa worth more than Leslie? Who really knows? Who really knows? But uh, if... Gary values uh, that she's got her own career and won't be after his money, then maybe that's, you know, a healthy thing. You know, these sorts of financial questions are very tough because most uh, divorces and uh, struggles within relationships come from financial concerns, not having, not being on the same page and this and that. I have to say, Gary, I mean, 
he's going to be up for major sponsorships because he's the first Golden Bachelor. He's built a little bit of a social media following, super recognizable, and there's a lot of money to be made with that demographic in the pharmaceutical world. And, you know, you could see Gary doing a contact lens commercial or Prilosec, you know, who knows? I mean, we live in a world where all the money that comes from corporate advertising is essentially big pharma or big medicine. All right, so let's just listen to them talk about their upcoming wedding and a few other nice comments they have uh, with Bachelor Happy Hour podcast. Last night, you guys announced a date. You are getting married. Let's talk about that. January 4th. Quick turnaround now. Yeah, I mean, that's quick. <laughs> it took me a year to plan a wedding. It took you guys, what, five weeks? This is crazy. We're old. We're old. <laughs> Time's a waste. Yeah, think about it this way. You know, you can wait a year when you're 20 years old, and it yeah. might be three or four percent of your 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 remaining life. When you're 70, yeah. a year could be 10 percent or 20 yeah. percent. So it's so true. Time is relative. When you're a child, it's a year is a lot of your life. When you're an adult, it's like, all right, you know, you spend a year binge drinking. And when you're old, it's like time's ticking. You're back to those, uh, you know, you're back to like being a child where it's like it's a heavy part. You only have so amount left. We didn't want to put off what we really felt was right. Mm -hmm. So when the obstacle of geography was overcome, that which was really something I thought would, would hold us back in timing, um, when that was overcome, it, we really didn't have any problems. I mean, I think we both realized how compatible we were. The feelings were there. Um, our families are incredibly uh in such a short time incredibly close mm -hmm. to each other mm -hmm. they're talking all the time they refer to each other as sisters yeah. now our oh, daughter that's so um, nice giving me beautiful sisters more yeah sisters. it's like yeah. there's no we could not yeah. find a good reason really. to not move forward quickly all right no reason to not move forward quickly i mean the only people that are getting married faster than them would be maddie pruitt but that's for different reasons uh you know worth the wait here we have Teresa reveals how she overcame jealousy and insecurity about dating gary about gary dating other women 50 with someone mm -hmm. um we're both strong personalities we'll both stand up for what we believe but that even makes it better because i think you learn from each other when there's back and forth and it, it, I'm really thrilled with that part of our relationship. Is that what you were looking for as well, Teresa, when you went into this process? Someone that you could be 50-50 with? Yeah, absolutely. I did. Yeah, to be on the same equal footing with and, you know, in, in intellect and desire and drive and passion and what he wanted out of life. And I will tell you this, from the very beginning of this journey, I only ever wanted him to find the best possible person. I wasn't really, even though I looked at, I wasn't trying to push my agenda on this. I really, I really wholeheartedly, I'm an extremely open-minded person. And I really wanted him to explore it with every single person. And because like, you know, are you sure? Yeah. Otherwise you, there's doubt. Absolutely sure. Right. Yeah. Right. So, All right. so, so then they're, they're uh, just trying to remove the doubt. So, you know, I mean, look, I don't know if people are going to change their parent opinion on Gary. I think the people that want to knock him down will find reasons. Obviously, Leslie's upset. But find me a season where the runner-up wasn't upset. You know what I mean? Uh, Gary made some mistakes. Zach Shell Cross made some mistakes. Clayton Eckerd made some mistakes. I mean, we can look at almost any Ben Higgins, Ari. I mean, just about any season, you're going to make mistakes in, in, in what we have remember is they're making mistakes when they're trying not to they're not they know they're on camera and even then they can't get it all right gary turner and Teresa open up about finding love again later in life this is the first season of the golden bachelor right so the first time we're ever seeing this you're talking to you know 20 something and 30 something year old who have found love on this show you're both at your second time of finding love what was different this time around that you were looking for versus when you were looking for your first love. Does that make sense? Makes a lot of sense. I mean, the first time you're looking for your first love, you're looking to start a family. You're, you know, that's, that's a way different dynamic that you're looking for not only a good husband, but a good father. And this time I think we're looking for equal partners, um, someone who will, enjoy life with you and who feel it has the same philosophy about life as you do. So, and it's also, it's also about really knowing, I think that when I was on this journey, you know, you, you heard me say so many times, I love you. I kept telling him. Yeah. And I did that because I think 
when you're old, I don't know, or maybe ever, if you feel something, you should say yeah. something. Because if I didn't give him that information, then he wouldn't have that to know that he had that option with me. So Teresa essentially giving great advice to all of us, which is lay your cards out there. Now, maybe not the first date, but lay your cards out there. You know, we're going to cover actually Taylor Swift laying her cards out there as time person of the year. We're going to cover that on today's Bachelor Rush Hour podcast if you like some Swifty content. By the way, I had a dream. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I'm going to get into all of that later. We don't need to, we don't need to digress into the dreams that I have, but uh, we will be sharing them on the podcast. Gary Turner and Teresa share advice for future golden bachelors and bachelorettes. This is important here because, you know, he was the first one. You almost have to give him some credit as the first golden bachelor, kind of going into it blind. Of course, uh, you know, doing well with the show, but this whole idea that they were trying to expose him. I was surprised they didn't expose him sooner, but as we saw, the Hollywood Reporter waited to, to, uh, for their the day before the finale to get max exposure for their article. Uh, so uh, future golden bachelors and bachelorettes will also be scrutinized because they've got a full 50, 60, 70 years of life experience. And the longer you're alive, the longer you have chances to make enemies and do something stupid. Anyway, here's what they have to say. Advice for future golden bachelor and bachelorettes. If you could give advice to the next golden lead, whether that be a, a woman or a man, what advice would you give? I, I think there there might be two. Um, the first thing would, would be to trust the process that when producers come to you and say, we want you to go in this direction or we want you to do this certain thing to at least go along with them initially and learn to trust them. And so then the second thing, maybe in a, in a bigger uh, concept of it is, is ridiculously important to be open-minded. Don't lock in on one person. Don't, set your heart in in one place because you may miss something that's critically important with one of the other people that's there mm -hmm. so um i tried to to um you know to compartmentalize as much as i possibly could and and i think that helped me mm -hmm. so much in learning about everyone yeah and then Teresa, how about you for Someone else going on. Yeah, contestants, the you know, the next batch of of women vying for the Golden Bachelor or vice versa, what would be your yeah. advice to them? I would say really try to be yourself as much as possible. Something I wasn't able to do fully the entire time, but to be yourself, to be open to the process and to really say how you feel. Like don't hold back. This is this is a process where it's it's not dragged out in, in a normal time frame. So you can't let opportunities pass you by. So if you feel something, to say something. You All right. If you see something, say something. If you feel something, say something too. All right. Good advice. I mean, I don't know. Are we still interested in talking about Golden Bachelor? Uh, I think this is the last of the PR push that we get from Gary and any hate that's coming uh, from him. I'll tell you what. If there were more skeletons in the closet, they probably would have come out by now. And so far, all we have is the unvetted story shared by Nick Fiel and, and then his apology thereafter. And then all we have after that is this uh, ex that doesn't like him and, a, and him choosing someone who has perceivable, quote unquote, wealth. Uh, I mean, look, if he chose Leslie and people would say, oh, he chose the one for looks for, you know, whatever. I don't know. Uh, it's just uh, uh, stuck between a rock and a hard place there, Gary. But uh, hey, we appreciate you being the premier bachelor on The Golden Bachelor. And uh, we'll have to see if they announce soon. My guess is if they do a Golden Bachelor. And by the way, there is money to be made here, folks. This is easy for them to shoot. If they do a Golden Bachelorette, my guess is that would air over the summer, uh, because we have Bachelor premiering in the uh, 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 in January, or it could air in late spring. We'll have to see uh, if there's any updates. We'll get them to you, and we'll be back with more content right after this.